next segment, guys, we want to use a high incline on our reformer. So what we'll do is we'll adjust all the way to the top, a little bit lower if it's your first time or if you're not comfortable with it, but we want a high incline for the next bunch of exercises. Okay, we're gonna work using our reformer. We're gonna get some work done with our quadriceps now. So we're gonna lie right down. I'm gonna go feet together, knees together. I'm gonna try and press them up against each other to make my adductors work as well. Okay, so from here, I'm just pushing off with the heel and straight back. Okay, in and back. Just like that. Exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna go onto the ball of the foot. Ball of the foot presses or stiletto presses if you like. Just like that. Okay, I'm keeping my heels right off the board the whole time. Nice and steady, going into a straight, soft straight position and coming right back down. Okay, let's go into those leg presses now, guys. So you can see your feet and your knees are together, perfect. Squeeze those knees together so you can make your adductors work as well. Pushing right through, soft, straight, and back. Just like that, perfect. Now, if your reformer has handles on it, you're holding the handles. If you don't have handles on your reformer, you can hold the bottom of your carriage, just like that. Perfect, pushing right through, we're doing well. You can see the heads are rested and we're pushing steadily using the heels. Keep working guys, five seconds to go. And get onto the ball of the foot, working your ball of foot presses now or stiletto presses if you like. So it's just like you're wearing a set of stilettos. Your feet, your heels must be at least six inches off the ground at all times. Keep pushing, making sure your knees are staying together the whole time. Fifteen seconds to go. Good, squeeze and squeeze, squeeze. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. Let's change back into those flat leg presses, go. So I'm gonna just make an adjustment for you, Sarah. I'm just gonna push you up here. So you can push off your heel now. Squeezing right through, we're doing really well, guys. Keep fighting it, the second time round, this one's much harder than the first time. Keep, keep the tempo up, let's not lose the tempo. Keep working. Five seconds to go before we change it up. And change now, go. Time to the ball of the foot. Keep those knees together, just like that. Good. You feeling that burning up, Sarah? Yeah. Right across the quadriceps, good. Keep working. We want to make sure those heels are staying nice and high. There you go. 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, for this next exercise, we're gonna use our reformer. We're gonna work our single leg presses. We're gonna do a hip raise with that. I want you guys to watch me. So, again, I like to have my foot in a pistol position, pushing off with the heel and driving it right through. You can rest your head for this one if you like. Just like that. And what I'm gonna do for the second exercise is I'm gonna go into a hip raise, but I'm gonna do it with both legs together. Feet and knees together. I'm gonna drive straight up, hit a straight line, and come straight back down. Really squeezing my hamstring and my glutes. Squeeze and down, touch the board, lift again. Your turn, ready?
Okay, ready guys? Let's go. Good, so pushing off with the heels. That's it. And you can see two different hand positions. So if your reformer has the handles, hold the handle the way Sarah's doing. And if your reformer doesn't have handles, then hold the bottom of the carriage. Let's work through. We've got 25 seconds left before we change over. Good, nice, full range. Keep it going. Make sure you're pulling, pushing with the heel. Good, and if you find it difficult to push with the heel, what you can do is just go up a little. There you go, let's keep pushing. We've got five seconds before we change over to the hip raise. And change, guys. Feet together, lifting straight up. Good, touch and lift into that straight line. You wanna make sure your carriage doesn't move for this exercise. We're gonna try and keep it as stationary as possible. Good, nice, steady movement. Right up and dropping straight down. Good job. 15 seconds to go. You guys can see both the girls are hitting those straight lines before they drop their hips down. Five seconds to go. And change to your single leg press off your fresh leg this time. Go. Good, keep pressing. So what I'm gonna do here, Sarah's got her foot in the pistol position, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to Marilyn, I'm gonna change her over to a tabletop. There, I'm gonna keep going, keep pressing. So you can use whichever one you're most comfortable with. Fifteen seconds to go. Last five seconds, keep pushing. And change to your hip raise, go. Good, we wanna make sure we're keeping our feet together, squeezing together, squeeze your knees together. Let's try and use the adductors while we're using our hamstrings and glutes as well. Good, keep fighting it. It's getting difficult at this point. You don't have long left to go. 20 seconds. Good, keep using that range. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, for this exercise, we're gonna use our reformer and we're gonna work a different type of leg press. I want you guys to watch me. We're gonna go into a V leg press, which basically means I'm creating a V with my feet, pushing off with my heels, and I've got my knees uh, trying to point at either wall, okay? Just pushing out, just like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine this exercise with an isometric hold. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go into, onto the ball of the foot, into my stiletto position, and I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold this position. I'm gonna do each exercise for 45 seconds, and we're gonna repeat, and we're gonna hold with the other side. Your turn. Okay, let's start those V presses, guys, go. Good, nice and steady, just like that. And we're gonna try and bring those knees even further out, so you can see the knees are pointing at either wall, and we've created a nice wide V using the footing, pushing off with the heels. Good, how's that feeling guys? Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. We've got 45 seconds, we've got 15 seconds left. Keep pressing. And five seconds to go. Push, push, push and change over. So we're gonna go isometric on the ball of the foot, one foot. You wanna keep your other foot in a pistol position just like that, perfect. Let's hold that position halfway up and hold. Now you can see David's holding onto his handles. If your reformer doesn't have any handles, you can hold the bottom of the carriage the way Sarah's holding it. Keep holding, it's 
burning up, burning up the quadriceps a little bit. We've got 10 seconds to go, keep holding. Doing an excellent job there, guys. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and back into your V-press, go. You can see full range of movement here. So we're gonna go all the way up, perfect. All the way down, but you're not gonna to touch the end of the carriage. Keep working. Nice, steady movement. We're gonna keep consistent tempo throughout the exercise. 15 seconds to go on this one, guys. Keep pushing. Good form. Heads are nicely rested. And we're gonna to change to our isometric. Hold now, go, use the fresh leg. Hold it up and hold your position. Halfway up, so you can see we're halfway around. So we've got, we're perfectly in the middle. You wanna stay sit, uh, sit, um, lying just down there. 90 degrees angle we're creating at the knee. So we're gonna try and maintain that. Maybe possibly a little bit higher, there you go. Perfect, let's hold it. We've got 20 seconds to go. Is that comfortable, David? Ten seconds. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm using my reformer for this next exercise. I'm gonna go and lie down just like this on one side. Again, I'm gonna rest, rest my head on my arm and I'm gonna hold onto the side of my carry. I'm gonna push right up into a straight line from here. I've got my bottom leg in a pistol position and I'm just working a calf raise with my top leg. So I'm flattening out and lifting right up just like that. What I'm gonna do with my second exercise is I'm gonna work my lateral leg circles. So from here, I'm gonna lift up, I'm gonna work some circles. Okay, you can see some circles look better than others, but as long as you're getting the motion going, you should be fine, just like that. I'm gonna try that on both sides. It's your turn to have a go at it now. Okay, make sure you've got your straight line before you start your exercise and work from there, all the way to the ball of the foot and flatten it back out. Make sure your knees are staying straight the whole time. Good, a little bit more range if you can. Good, right up on the ball of the foot. Keep working and can make sure you're holding your line. Now a good way of stabilizing is to hold right there. It gives you something to push off. Ten seconds to go. And change to your lateral circle. So feet together, look for your straight line first. Lift, and let's work those circles. So we're gonna try and draw the best circles we can for the next 45 seconds. Now I'm gonna make a little adjustment for you, Josh. I'm gonna bring you back here. We're gonna draw the circles from here. Don't want you going in front of yourself. I want you to keep the body nice and straight the whole time, okay? Let's work from there. Fifteen seconds to go. So whilst this is an abduction technique, we're actually going to the front and the back as well. So we're gonna work the quadriceps and hamstrings as well, just because of that circular motion that we're making. And time, guys. Let's turn, face the other way. Josh, you're facing me. Marilyn, you're facing the other way. Get that straight line up. And go now. Carb raises from there. Make sure you're carrying that straight line through your body the whole time. Good. Not long to go now, 10 seconds, keep pushing. 
I know it's burning up. Three, two, one. Feet together, go back to your straight line. We're gonna work the lateral circles now, go. Good form you guys, you just wanna be conscious. As you start to get tired, you're gonna to start to go in front of you. I wanna make sure you don't do that. You wanna stay right here where it's nice and difficult. 15 seconds to go now. Ten seconds left. Don't speed those circles up. Keep it steady. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Using my reformer for this next exercise, I want you guys to watch me. I'm gonna go straight into a plank. Now the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna make a triangle with my elbows and my hand. Nice, sturdy like that. I'm gonna lift from the top and I'm gonna hold my plank in place. Just like that. Now you wanna make sure if your bum's lifted, you're not really doing anything there. And if it's too far down, there's too much pressure on your lower back. So you wanna try and keep it nice and still. I'm gonna keep that position. And then what I'm gonna do from here, is I'm gonna go into my four point position. Just like that. And from here, we're gonna work our lateral knee raises, just like that. Now what I like to do with this one, is I like to keep my ankles in check. There's two ways of doing this exercise. I'm not gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do it with my ankle in check, and so I'm really working the outer quadrant of my glutes. Your turn. Let's hit that plank, guys. Let's go. Good, now you can see David's got his legs at just about shoulder width, slightly apart. It's okay to do it that way. If you want to keep your feet together, that's fine too. I'm going to make a small adjustment for you, Sarah. I'm going to actually lift your foot and bring it slightly higher. There you go. Does that feel more stable now? Perfect. And we're holding the perfect line. Let's maintain that. We've got 15 seconds to go. Keep holding. If you start to shake like David's shaking, not a problem. You're doing it right. It's hitting all the right spots. 10 seconds to go. Keep holding. Five more seconds. Two, one, drop it down. Let's go straight into our four point position. And work this side, perfect, go. So from here, your knees are coming laterally, straight at me, 90 degrees, perfect. Good job, you guys. You're gonna start to burn it up. You're gonna feel it outside your glutes. 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. You guys ready to hit that plank one more time? Let's go. And if you find you're sliding down a little, you can Make that adjustment. There you go. You guys are holding perfect straight lines. You can see elbows are on the outside shoulder width, holding the hand together and making a nice uh, sturdy triangle grip. Ten seconds to go, keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna do our side knee raise on the other side now, go. Now you wanna make sure we're keeping a neutral spine. So I'm gonna press your spine down slightly for this one, so perfect, right there. We're gonna maintain that, and we're shooting at 90 degrees. Twenty seconds to go. Three, two, 
one, you can rest now.